Alrighty, welcome back everyone. It is Laughing Games here. I'm back. It is time for another StarCraft 2 1 versus 1 Probots cast. We have got ourselves a couple of what must be awesome bots here today on the map Stargazers AI edition. And we've got one of these bots that I've commentated before. It's Queen Bot. One of the bots that is really cool, but not one that you want to commentate all the time. Oh, look at that drone derfage. Oh my. Interesting. Uh, yeah. In the top left, we have got a bot I've never cast before, Lucid TJS. Not a bot, not, not sure what the TJS stands for, but it's a Terran bot against a Zerg bot. And, uh, yeah, we'll see how these, uh, bots have evolved. In the sense, in regards to Queenbot, whether Queenbot's changed much at all, and we'll see what uh, Lucid is gonna bring out here today. Yeah, Queenbot is a bot that it's like it, it's a really cool concept. It's not something that changes up or causes anything dramatic, though. So it's not one that I've commentated a ton. But as far as showcasing how a new bot performs against it, I think it's a great. Uh, it's a great sounding board but another word uh, <laughs> that I can't remember um so yeah let's just uh, see how lucid is gonna do here in this tvz there is an scv scout now queen bot's already got one hatchery on the way a drone transfer actually drones going hard on this scv oh man this scv is uh really enemy number one I suppose this is a very interesting from queen bot but Seven drones chasing one poor SCV. How far are they going to go? Oh, okay. They go home now. Uh, very aggressive counter to any potential aggression by Queen Bot, which is interesting to see. Uh, if you want to make sure that your bot survives into the mid of the game, that's not necessarily a bad thing, having a broad sweeping defense, something like that. Against an SCV, it's an interesting one. I suppose that that's an anti-sort of proxy racks strategy there. Now, uh, Queen Bot producing two queens so ladies and gentlemen let's go for two likes on this video make sure to slap that like button and uh leave a comment down below that says queens <laughs> or, or or more bots whatever you guys prefer but it definitely does help with the youtube algorithm and uh yeah consider uh becoming a youtube member we're at seven out of ten members for our goal if you want to support this uh, more niche content the drone dance from queen bot this drone is just so confused. <laughs> it's just building up centrifugal force. Just uh, getting ready to go. Yeah, interesting uh, mining tactic by Queenbot, but it is the more efficient one to have the drones micro like this, which is really only possible with unlimited APM from a bot. Now uh, let's take a look here. A starport's on the way for Lucid. It's currently on two bases. Getting up an orbital command, just macroing up as a Terran bot, which is good to see. A bunker and very interesting starport placement, I will say. So a bunker on the way, marines being produced. There is, there's a factory out. Siege tanks very going to be very good against Queen Bot, I imagine. And then uh, yeah, we'll see where this game's going to go from here. Queen Bot heading towards the fourth base, just as you'd expect, pumping out queens. Going to start spreading that creep, building up lots of transfuse energy. And at this point in time, Queenbot is essentially a Zerg pro gamer. Now, uh, we have got a Cyclone on the way for Lucid, also going to be good against Queens, depending on how well it micros that. Queenbot, though, is going to be boost enough in the economy, not having to mine any gas for its strategy, really, unless it wants upgrades. Uh, then, yeah, just able to toss down a bunch of hatcheries. Lucid is going to be going for a Viking, interestingly enough. Cyclone and Marines. The Viking are supposed to hunt overlords. And, uh, yeah, let's take a look here. Lots of queens, lots of queens, lots of queens on the way. No surprise there. So we're going to keep our eye on Lucid more so for this game. A siege tank is on the way. So I don't feel bad for Lucid in this game at all. Now we'll see how well it handles attacks or engagements against these queens. The, the level of commitment that the bot has is going to be interesting. Double hatchery for Queen Bot down here in the bottom right. That's an interesting tactic. I wonder if that's uh, something that it does for more further away bases. Just to be like, all right, double the hatcheries. Why not? 
I gotta put them somewhere. Queen bot just expanding, building four queens at a time now. What's the current queen count? How, how, how many sisters do we have here? Ten queens out, eleven queens, and soon to be many more. Double eBay's on the way, double racks on the way, so Lucid Bot is just doing a great job of macroing up here. A third command center on the way. So this is standard Terran macro. Going up against a player making only queens, or a bot making only queens. You think that this would be okay for the Terran. And we'll see if that's going to be the case or not. SCVs are starting to mine out this mineral patch. We'll see if the Het uh, Stargazers is going to catch up another bot or not. Queen bot. Not uh, sent in, not tried to mine this out at all either. So we'll see if this command center is going to be able to take that position. These two SCVs are going down. They're starting to mine the minerals, but they are not mining these minerals. Okay, now let's see. I must have a stuck key or something here because my when I press escape, there we go. We have plus one missile attack on the way, so Queenbot is mining some gas this time, going for triple hatcheries at this base. Oh my gosh, Queenbot is going to be a force to be reckoned with here for Lucid. Uh, I'd like to see how Queenbot does against Tyr, right? Tyr was that awesome ghost bot, I believe, uh, because ghosts are pretty darn good against Queen. So if I see one of those replays, I will definitely have to cast it. This base... Rallying SCVs towards this mineral patch going to be an orbital command. And these minerals have not been mined at all yet. It's going to depend on uh, the bot's behavior, whether that base actually gets taken or not. Queen bot is now securing these locations. So really getting in the face of Lucid. This starport lifted off, interestingly enough. Not sure what that's about. Uh, Marauders on the way and extra bunkers on the way here for Lucid. A tank, another tank zone. And this is just going to be Queen bot taking it all over the map everything's automated spread the creep build the hatcheries build the queens and then pretty much go from there i believe that this we'll see how many drones this bot's gonna get out i think it hangs around this number we're now seeing a, dr a dropper lord on the way an infestation pet so it can keep getting those upgrades and uh more hatcheries being taken those ones were cancelled i'm actually gonna rewind for a second see okay yeah those were actually killed pardon me uh or no they were cancelled the drones died and then uh, Queen Bot elects to throw up more hatcheries down here. Gonna build a casual four hatcheries over here. I guess that's what happens when you've got lots of money from just building queens. Although Queen Bot doesn't actually have that much money, but it is making nine queens at a time. So that's a pretty good amount. We've even got a Nidus on the way. Ooh, I did not expect the Nidus, but that's what it's gonna be. We've got <laughs> we've got a Dropper Lord gonna be picking up queens. It's got a single queen in at the minute. Uh, unloads that queen, drops creep, so I suppose that this is a creep spreading mechanism here. Uh, five hatcheries on the way at a time. Just gonna be taking all the bases, overseers start flying on in. That nidus worm is gonna be finishing up, and we'll see how all the stims gonna handle this. That starport did reland. That add-on was actually taken by the barracks, interestingly enough. Uh, cool behavior there. There's the nidus now going up inside the main base of Lucid. It wouldn't surprise me if many of these bots don't have anti nidus worm behavior, because that's something very specific to program. These marines are now out on the map. They have got stim. They're going to stim into these queens. They're going to start picking them off, and this is actually going pretty darn well for Lucid so far. That is a lot of dead queens. Uh, yeah, a lot of these queens are actually going down. That is insane. What a great engagement for the Terran bot. How many medivacs out is there to heal up these marines, though? Nidus is actually getting shut down here. So that's huge for Lucid. Uh, lots and lots of Queens dying. Twelve more are on the way at a time for Queen Bot. It's going to take a while to get these all into position though. And the actual Queen count right now is 29. Where are the rest of those Queens? Oh my gosh. They're all just chilling back here. Lucid's now stepping onto Creep with this bio that did pretty well for itself. Got to clean up all this Creep. And uh, so far, not able to take this base. Likely due to these pesky mineral patches that... That's interesting behavior there. Yeah, it's going to be trying to do it. Uh, it just may not happen, though. We'll see if it's going to scan like other bots. And no, it actually does. So it does have behavior to mine those mineral patches, but then it re-rallies the SCV to the gas, so it didn't actually pick up any of those minerals yet. Uh, so there is some behavior there, I think. <laughs> it's just amazing how much Stargazer is causing hiccups for these AI. Uh, let's take a look here. This command center now floating down here. This creep is being a big old pain for Lucid. Uh, there's got to be scans to clean up this 
creep. There's lots of mules being dropped. This orbital has got a lot of its energy, so we'll see if it's going to be able to land this orbital or not. A uh, marine next to this creep tumor. There's got to be scans. So far, not a lot of scans going down. The efficiency is pretty darn good for Lucid, but Queenbot has pretty much got all the bases. More queens going down. The transfuse is not keeping them alive endlessly like they potentially could. So more of those going down. The creep really isn't being denied here. And this... Okay, one of those mineral patches was mined, but which is good to see. There's still creep tumors here, though. So that command center still can't land. Queenbot's being a big old nuisance here, and this could potentially be a hang-up here for Lucid. Queenbot's coming on in, big attack, lots of tank shots getting off. 85% of the map is covered in creep. Queenbot BMing. How did you let this happen? Uh, Lucid's trying its best to hang on here. This is a lot of queens coming on in, though, and those tanks are not actually going to be able to defend here. Oh my gosh, the queens are actually just pushing on, pushing on through. Uh, Lucid has got a good amount of units left, but... There is a boatload of queens, 44 queens against this. Uh, this is insane. Uh, yeah. Let's see, Cyclone locking on, queens just attacking on in here. The tanks actually got killed by the queens, amazingly enough. And Lucid, without being able to secure up another base, has really had its economy hurt. Did it actually lose that command center? How many orbitals? Yeah, it's only got two orbitals, so one of those orbitals actually died there. There's a bunker, none of the units are in the bunker, but Queenbot's actually just pushing forward, and I think that this is going to be it. Queenbot is going to take down Lucid. I would love to see a rematch on this map if uh, if that mineral patch wasn't there, because the, the, the lack of the third orbital being landed might have affected the creep, the creep clearing of Lucid. But uh, yeah, this is this is not good here for the Terran AI. I think it's pretty much Dundies. And uh, as we watch, how many queens now? How many queens? 62 queens. That is a healthy number of queens. <laughs> the fact that there's a bot to make this, that does this is part of the reason why StarCraft 2 bots are fantastic. Ladies and gentlemen, if you enjoyed this one, make sure to go ahead and hit that like button. Subscribe if you have not. Join the Discord if you haven't. Consider becoming a YouTube member. Press that join button, which is linked in the description down below. Uh, Queen Bot immediately, immediately starts planning on building hatcheries here. Uh, as more and more queens are on the way, good upgrades. Yeah, Lucid is just not engaging efficiently at this point. None of the units are firing. That's a big hang-up for a lot of AI, in which the, the units are so hell-bent on trying to avoid engagements that they don't fire at all. Which leads to inefficiencies, kind of like we're seeing here. But, uh, yeah. Good job, Queen Bot. Always fun to cast. Always fun to see how how other bots fare against Queen Bot. I do wonder if Queen Bot has got behavior to find floating buildings, by the way. Whether it will eventually make a non-queen unit. <laughs> or if, if her principal will just take draws. Uh, if the Terran bot floats its buildings into the corner of the map or something like that. We see these queens working away on those command centers, and that's all the buildings getting killed off there. Hatcheries going up for days. How many hatches are we looking at? We've got 18 hatcheries on the map, 369 creep tumors. GG, thanks for watching.